Uh, my name is Keiichi Fukuda. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about two topics. One is selective elimination of ES or IPS cells by fatty acid method. And the second is uh, improvement of transplanted cell survival by cardiosphere. ES and IPS cells are one of the attractive cell sources in regenerative therapies for heart failure patients. However, if non-purified ES or IPS cell derived cells are transplanted, they will form teratoma like this. So elimination of the residual stem cell and purification of cardiomyocytes are necessary. We previously reported that depletion of glucose and glutamine and supplementation of lactate can purify cardiomyocytes. Glucose and glutamine are two major energy sources for IPS cells. So if we deplete two major energy sources, IPS cell cannot survive. In contrast, cardiomyocytes express uh, lactate transporter and uh, cardiomyocytes ca uh, can uptake lactate, which was changed into pyruvate or and used in the mitochondria to generate ATP. Uh, this is uh, IPS cell derived uh, cardiomyocyte before and after transplant uh, purification. As you can see in the left hand panel, beating cells are cardiomyocyte, but uh, there are no uh, non beating cells. These are residual IPS cells or uh, non myocyte. So if we change the uh, medium into glucose-free, glutamine-free, and lactate-supplemented uh, uh, method, uh, only cardiomyocytes can survive and other type of cells disappear. We call this uh, lactate method and glutamine method. However, in addition to the, in, in addition to the lactate and glutamine method, uh, today I will introduce a new method to eliminate uh, residual ES or IPS cells to prevent teratoma formation. Uh, that is free uh, fatty acid method to selectively eliminate ES or IPS cells. And second, to introduce the efficiency of cardiosphere for transplanting cardiomyocyte. Uh, this slide shows the immunofluorescent uh, staining, alive or dead staining uh, of the human IPS cell derived, uh, definitive endoderm, neural stem cells, and fibroblasts and neurons. As you can see uh, in the uh, left panel, uh, this is a uh, 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 regular uh, cell culture method. These cells can survive. But, but after uh, changing this medium into glucose-free, uh, glutamine-free, and lactate-supplemented me uh, media, uh, these cells will die. So the preparation, uh, the depletion of glucose and glutamine and lactate supplementation cannot purify other type of cells. So what should we do? Uh, so we first performed uh, micro, uh, messenger RNA uh, transcriptome analysis. Uh, the uh, left upper panel indicated a uh, uh, heat map analysis. Uh, these are the human iPS cells and the human, uh, these are the human iPS cell derived cardiomyocyte. Uh, left lower panel in indicated volcano plot analysis. As you can see, uh, iPS cell strongly expressed Fasten and ACLY. So what is ACLY and fasten? ACLY is an ATP citrate lysase, and the fasten is a fatty acid synthetase. Uh, so what are these enzymes? Uh, this is the enzymes that, were, uh, that they were involved in. From, from glucose to pyruvate, this is glycolysis pathway. But after that, uh, these uh, uh, Singularing pathway work as a de novo uh, lipogenesis. And the fasten is here. So fasten synthesizes uh, fatty acid such as palmitic acid from acetyl CoA and melanyl CoA. And the fasten is important for energy storage in the liver, adipose tissue, and mammillary gland, especially in the lactation period. Fasten is elevated in malignant tumors such as breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, ovarian cancer, and endometrial cancer. So we first performed Fasten gene knockdown. Uh, this is uh, the result of knockdown. As you can see, Fasten gene is downregulated. Uh, in this situation, uh, this is an iPS cell proliferation assay. Uh, in the Fasten uh, gene, uh, gene targeted uh, cells, uh, they stopped uh, proliferation. So this is a, a quantitative analysis. 
as you can see, uh, first engine uh, knockdown uh, decreased uh, uh, conference, but uh, uh, supplementation of palmitate rescued the effect of first knockdown. So we first uh, next use the uh, first selective inhibitor Oristat. Oristat is like this, and this is clinically used. And uh, as you can see, uh, first inhibitor Oristat can selectively deplete iPS cells in a dose-dependent manner. So Oristat might play an important role for iPS proliferation. So what about other type of cells? As I have explained, undifferentiated ES or iPS cells cannot survive under Oristat. So uh, we performed this experiment. We used human iPS derived cardiomyocyte, hepatocyte, and neurons, and uh, confirmed the effect of Oristat. Uh, this is the result. The upper panel indicated a control experiment, and the lower panel indicated a or, uh, or, Oristat treatment. Uh, this is cardiomyocyte, uh, this is hepatocyte, and this, these are the neurons. So uh, <coughs> uh, Oristat does not have any effect on the cardiomyocyte, hepatocyte, and neurons. Next, we uh, uh, performed co-culture of the human iPS cells and human iPS reliable cardiomyocyte. And we maintained these cells for 72 hours uh, with or without Oristat. Uh, result is uh, shown like this. The lower panel indicated that OCT4 uh, indicated a stem cell marker, and these red positive cells are iPS cells. Uh, but uh, uh, after oral start treatment, uh, no iPS cell cannot survive. There are no iPS cells. Uh, quantitative analysis is like this. So first inhibitor oral start can selectively deplete iPS cells, but not differentiated cardiomyocyte, neurons, and hepatocyte. Next, we performed teratoma formation assay uh, using uh, human fibroblast plus 2% iPS cells. Uh, we treated uh, these cells with, uh, uh, without Oristat for 72 hours, and we transplanted uh, into mice, immunodeficient mice. And the result is like this. Uh, the left-hand panel is uh, Oristat untreated cells, and the right-hand side is uh, Oristat treated cells. Uh, these Oristat untreated cells form the teratoma like this. Uh, the teratoma formation percent is uh, uh, 80%, but uh, in Oristat's treated group, uh, there are no teratoma, uh, indicating pretreatment with Oristat to the mixture of fibroblast and 2% iPS cells can prevent teratoma formation. So Oristat can be used to uh, World uh, generally uh, uh, regenerative medicine, not only cardiomyocyte. Next is a cardiospear. Uh, previously, we uh, transplanted uh, cardiomyocyte after digestion of trypsin, and uh, a single floating cell was injected into the heart. Uh, blue cells are transplanted cardiomyocyte. Uh, at first, we are delighted to see this, but uh, uh, problems occur. Uh, survival transplanted cardiomyocyte by floating single cell injection is less than 3%. Most of the cardiomyocyte were lost by backflow uh, uh, in this experiment. So we collaborated with some chemical company to uh, make a, a, a new, uh, newly developed uh, plate. Uh, in, uh, at the bottom of this, of this plate, there are small holes. The size is 500 micron and depth is 400 micron and the bottom is round. We uh, uh, performed uh, uh, coating uh, of the uh, surface and uh, we put the cardiomyocyte in it. This is six hours and this is 96 hours. As you can see, uh, the uh, cardiomyocyte formed uh, like a ball. So we call this cardiomyocyte ball or cardiosphere and each ball contained 1,000 cardiomyocyte. And uh, this cardio, uh, cardiomyocyte ball or cardiosphere is very effective for transplantation. Uh, <clears throat> in this experiment, we transplanted uh, respirase gene into the cardiomyocyte and uh, transplant them uh, to the uh, heart. Lower panel indicated cardiosphere uh, transplantation. Uh, we transplanted the same number of cardiomyocyte. 
but results were differ uh, drastically different. Uh, cardiovascular transplantation uh, <coughs> strongly augments the uh, cell survival after transplantation. Uh, we suspect the reason as follows. Uh, they can prevent surface protein destruction by trypsin digestion. They can maintain uh, uh, extracellular matrix structure, preserve autocrine paracrine growth factors, intact cell adhesion molecules, prevent damage by shear stress, uh, prevent cell loss by oozing or backflow. Anyway, uh, this uh, method is very good, uh, has a, a good result uh, for cell transplantation. Uh, this is the result of cell transplantation. Uh, left hand panel indicated two weeks, uh, right hand panel four weeks. And uh, uh, these are the graft. This is higher magnification. At two weeks after transplantation, the transplanted cardiomyocyte, uh, the size is very small. However, after four months, uh, these transplanted cardiomyocyte shows physiological hypertrophy like this. The transplanted cardiomyocyte uh, are elongated and the side of the cardiomyocyte shows bigger and bigger after transplantation. Uh, this is a, a, a co-immunostaining of a atrial cardiomy uh, cardiomyocyte marker and a ventricular cardiomyocyte marker. MLC2A is a atrial cardiomyocyte marker. After two weeks from transplantation, uh, some of the cell shows green. However, uh, after six months, all of the, uh, these cells uh, showed only red. Uh, so these findings indicated that uh, uh, when uh, the uh, early timing of, of transplantation, uh, fetal ventricular cardiomyocyte uh, may uh, in it, but uh, thereafter they differentiate into adult cardiomyocyte. Uh, this is the result of transplantation. This is a uh, anogmized heart. And this brown area are uh, transplanted human cardiomyocyte. These are the high magnification. Transplanted human cardiomyocytes showed physiological hypertrophy and adult phenotype. Beautiful striation can be observed. No scar formation was found in the transplanted area. Uh, this is one year after transplantation. Uh, this is human cardiomyocyte transplanted into nogmice skin. As you can see, uh, human uh, cardiomyocyte formed like a heart tissue and uh, show spontaneous beating. There are no teratoma formation. Uh, so and, uh, uh, very interestingly, new uh, angiogenic formation can be also observed. Uh, next, we performed uh, this experiment. We transplanted human iPS-derived cardiomyocyte into the cyanomologous monkey MI model. And uh, uh, this uh, dark brown area is a transplanted human cardiomyocyte. So human cardiomyocyte can survive in the monkey heart. And the right hand panel indicated uh, uh, cardiac function, function after transplantation. After transplantation, the cardiac function improves in that uh, cardiomyocyte transplanted group. But uh, you know, the problem is the uh, arrhythmia. Uh, the right-hand side uh, panel indicated a uh, Chuck Murray's paper, and the uh, left-hand side panel indicated a uh, Yuji Shiba's paper. Uh, they transplanted uh, human ESL-derived cardiomyocyte and mouse iPSL-derived cardiomyocyte into the monkeys. However, after uh, one month from the transplantation, uh, they revealed uh, ventricular tachycardia. This is the problem. So how about our transplantation? Uh, this is the result of our transplantation. Uh, we transplanted human cardiomyocyte uh, using a ca uh, cardiosphere and uh, transplanted uh, them to the uh, MI heart. And uh, uh, this is the result of arrhythmia. Four among five monkeys have no significant arrhythmia. And uh, only one uh, monkey showed uh, nine minute sustained VT. Uh, this is uh, per day. So there is a big difference. Why uh, arrhythmia is reduced? Uh, these are the pro possible reasons. Uh, we transplanted ventricular specific cardiomyocyte. And uh, cardiomyocyte purity is more than 99%. And high transplantation survival. Uh, this can be achieved by uh, cardiosphere. Relative small cell number at one site. 
less inflammation at the transplant area. So this is second message. Fasting inhibitor already start inhibit fatty acid synthesis such as palmitate, resulting selective elimination of the residual ESIPS cells, but not other cell types. Two, cardiosphere drastically increase the cell survival of transplanted cardiomyocyte. Three, human iPS cell derived ventricular cardiomyocyte did not cause significant arrhythmias in the monkey MI model. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>